Ever wondered what a deaerator is and why it's important in industrial settings? This might sound like a question from a science trivia, but for industries relying heavily on boilers, it's a crucial part of their operations. Picture a boiler, a vital piece of equipment in many factories providing the steam needed in countless processes. Now imagine this boiler being constantly under attack by a silent enemy, corrosion. This corrosion is primarily caused by dissolved gases and air. This is where our hero, the deaerator, steps in. Found wherever boilers are present, a deaerator plays a major role in warding off this corrosion, thereby extending the life of the boiler systems. It does this by removing these non-condensable gases and air, increasing the temperature of makeup water and storing a certain amount of water to cater to the varying steam demands in a boiler. Understanding the purpose of the deaerator brings us to the next question, how does it work? It the deaerator system serves three main purposes. The first is the removal of non-condensable gases and air. This is crucial as the low thermal conductivity of these elements can significantly reduce the heat transfer efficiency of the steam system, even potentially creating a vacuum inside. Over time, this can also decrease the steam's temperature. The second purpose of the deaerator system is to enhance the temperature of makeup water. This term, related to cooling towers, refers to water added to increase quality, lower fouling, and reduce the usage of chemicals. By raising the temperature of makeup water, we improve evaporation factors and facilitate heat transfer. Lastly, the deaerator system serves as a reservoir, storing a certain amount of water which can be dispatched to the boiler as the demand for steam fluctuates. In essence, the deaerator plays a pivotal role in boiler systems, mitigating corrosion and extending their operational lifespan. Now that we understand why a deaerator system is needed, let's delve into how it operates. At its core, a deaerator is a pressure vessel system. This system is uniquely designed and the temperature and pressure inside it can vary from one design to another. But one thing remains constant. It consists of four main inlets and outlets. These are a condensate inlet, a steam and gas vent, a steam inlet, and a safety relief valve. The condensate inlet receives its input from the steam outlet of a boiler. After the steam has condensed and released its heat, this condensate is fed into the inlet, where its temperature is increased and then fed back to the boiler. The steam and gas vent connects with the outside atmosphere, allowing for the discharge of non-condensable gases. Improper venting can lead to boiler damage over time due to corrosion. The steam inlet valve supplies steam to the deaerator, which is used to increase the water temperature inside, significantly reducing the air and non-condensable gases. Finally, a safety relief valve opens when the pressure inside the deaerator increases, discharging fluid until the pressure drops to an acceptable level. With these components in place, the deaerator can begin its job of protecting the boiler system. The process begins with the condensate inlet valve. Here, the condensate from the boiler or makeup water is introduced, emerging in a fine spray. This spray not only provides a large contact area, but also ensures water and steam can interact with numerous surface areas easily. This interaction boosts the heat transfer efficiency. Because heat transfer is achieved easily, the temperature rises swiftly, instigating the rapid release of air and non-condensable gases. These freed gases then journey towards the vent valve, where they are released into the atmosphere, preventing potential damage to the boiler system. The remaining water from this process then cascades down into the deaerator. Here, the water is stored, ready to be sent back to the boiler as required. This ability to adjust to varying steam demands is another essential function of the deaerator. And that, in a nutshell, is how a deaerator works to protect and improve the efficiency of industrial boiler systems.